Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, for another project that I'm working on, I've got to take some stuff off a circuit board, specifically these toroids right here. And there's quite an easy way that you can do this, so let's go over to the device and talk about it a little bit more. So there's only a few things that you're realistically going to need, one of which being a heat gun. Secondly, you're going to need a screwdriver, and I've chose to go for a flathead, but realistically you're going to need a nice big handle. And finally, you're going to need a vise. I mean, it's not 100% necessary, but it will make it a lot easier when you're trying to, trying to remove your components. So there's definitely something else that I should mention, and that is, if you're trying to remove a component that contains silicon, you're most likely going to ruin it, just because of the sheer amount of heat. But if you're trying to remove something like I am, which is the toroids, you shouldn't have a problem taking these off, and it should be pretty easy. Right, so let's get this in the vise and start removing components. Now that I've got this in the vise and it's nice and secure, I've marked out which pins I need to heat up to make sure the right components are going to drop out. This just helps me to make sure that I'm focusing the heat in one area without ruining everything else. Right, so now let's get on with it. And there we go, with a little bit of persuasion, I got the first one out, which is awesome and it's in really nice condition. Right, now let's get the rest of them out. I actually managed to pull all the toroids off the circuit board without damaging a single one, which is awesome because now I can reuse these in a project that I'm working on right now. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you want to be really careful when you're removing silicon components. I mean, you should be able to remove anything as long as you're really careful with the heat and as long as you're really gentle when you're trying to tap the pins off in the back. And what actually helped me is when the pins were getting stuck, I used a little flat head as a little pry tool just to get the last little bit out of the actual circuit board. There's definitely something else that I should mention. And when you're doing this, make sure that you're in a well ventilated area and you're wearing your protection. With that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.